You see the Parthian foot races last night? Darius ran like a gazelle. Jews don't go to foot races. Your old friend Simon himself used to run the wagering tables. We're not friends. Next. Okay, fine. So you did not go to the races. You stay home? I went to see my mother. Ugh. That would put me out, too. She asked when you're going to give her grandchildren? She didn't ask. I thought your parents don't speak to you. I had questions I couldn't ask anyone else. A mother of a son with talent like yours should be proud. She's ashamed that I could use the talent that God gave me against God. Next. You're good at something. You found a way to make a living doing it. It's that simple. Must be nice to live in a world so simply ordered. We live in the same world, Matthew. Next. Besides, what else are you going to do with a mind like yours? Matthew. Matthew, son of Alpheus. Yes. Follow me. Me? <laughs> yes, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what are you doing? You want me to join you? Keep moving, street preacher. Do you have any idea what this guy has done? Do you even know him? Yes. Listen, I said to... What are you doing? Where do you think you're going? Guys, let me go. Have you lost your mind? You have money. Quintus protects you. No Jew lives as good as you. You're going to throw it all away. Yes. I don't get it. You didn't get it when I chose you either. But this is different. I'm not a tax collector. Get used to different. I'm glad we passed by your booth today, Matthew. Yes. Shall we? We have a celebration to prepare for. You will regret this, Matthew. What's the tablet for? I grabbed it without thinking. You can put it back. No, no, keep it. You may yet find use for it. Where are we going? A dinner party. I'm not welcome at dinner parties. Well, that's not going to be a problem tonight. You're the host. I don't know if he's telling you about it, you know. If he's teaching. The way he ran from the red quarter, nearly tripping on his robes. <laughs> a fairy say running? <laughs> Somehow I can't see that. Oh. <laughs> I, can't see. <laughs> I thought for certain he would trip and fall and I would be arrested. <laughs> Knowing your luck, Rivka, probably would happen, huh? Oh. <laughs> I thought for certain Lil was gone forever that day. And it's Mary now. <laughs> Always was. Does anyone want any grapes? Barnaby, you eat a lot. <laughs> Very absurd. Thank you. Simon? You know, Matthew, when you're not behind iron bars, you're quite handsome. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? Hmm. May I help you? We were just on a walk and we heard voices, and I thought it sounded like... A 
Surely not. And yet it is you. Would you like to come in? We would never. Never be caught dead in a... In a what? In a tax collector's house? Not only that, but we say... Do you know what she... And he... They are... You seem to be having troubles finding your words, man. Why does your master eat with tax collectors and sinners? It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I must say, I am shocked. She is from the Red Quarter. Much of what is done there cannot even be spoken by my tongue or across my lips. It is so unholy. The mere mention of it would defile me. Sounds like a personal problem. But him and the others he works with, they betray our people for money. And they're not even sorry. If you're so offended, then leave. Let them speak, Andrew. They've never offered guilt sacrifices in the temple. What? The priest keeps the records. We check them. Tax collectors are not welcome at the temple. We would like them better if they made the proper sacrifices. This is not about me. This is about what God wants. You are forgetting the scroll of Hosea. Hmm? Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy more than sacrifice. There are righteous men on the lookout for you, and they are weighing every word you say. Is that a threat? Please let them know this, Yusuf. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Is everything under control here? Uh, yes. We were just going on our way, Centurion. 